Hey guys, Hackersploit here, back again with another video and welcome to this Q&A where you guys ask me your questions and I answer them. Now before we get started, I know what you guys are thinking, I haven't uploaded a video in a week and uh, the truth is I, I did that for a very good reason and that's because I, I took a step backwards and I w just wanted to look at how I can improve the channel because over the last few months the channel has grown a lot, we're at 22,000 subscribers that was you know we have smashed the goal for the year so i'm really really excited and i'm excited to make better content and to give you guys a much higher quality of content so that's what i was planning and i've got a lot of exciting stuff lined up for the month so videos will be coming regularly now especially uh, and that's the point i was trying to make videos are coming in every day there's going to be a video every day without fail and the videos are going to be much much higher quality and uh, again focused more on the delivery and the uh, the quality of the of the presentation and the content in the videos now um, uh, apart from that uh, as i said I've w i'm working on a lot of things to make this channel a lot better and one of them is the website i've updated the website so the website is now a fully fledged news website you can get the latest hacking news as as it happens uh, in, in terms of resources i've packed it up with resources you can check for ebooks any downloads password lists uh, guides uh, all all the all matter of stuff and they'll it'll keep on being updated all right in addition to that you can ask me questions on the website site so you can just post your question and i'll be answering them in the q a video which is awesome so that way we can have some good interaction um, apart from that i'm going to be releasing the hackersploit mobile app that will give you uh, the latest hacking news on the go you can access my video tutorials in addition to that you can contact me directly and i'll be working to add a live chat system where you can chat with other users also using the application so i'm really really excited for that and i've just been working on all of these, these things together so that we can all uh, so that we can all make this uh, a better channel in all uh, possible ways and the last announcement before we get started with the q a is that i have launched the cryptosploit website uh, or cryptosploit youtube channel where i'll be uploading videos uh, all videos uh, you know regarding cryptocurrencies and the blockchain and how it works we'll also be making videos about how to develop uh, applications that run on the blockchain something really really promising so uh, yeah that's what we're going to be working and i just wanted to give you guys an update on what i'm doing and hopefully these uh, q a videos can be a good place for us to interact on a more hands-on uh, uh, hands-on approach all right so let's get started with the q a not a lot of you guys posted questions but we have a few so thank you to those who did post questions and they're very very good questions so let's get started with the first question that was asked all right and the first question that was asked is port forwarding all right so quantum asks let me just open it up right here quantum asks can i explain can you explain port forwarding all right so uh, I'm, I'm obviously thinking that you want me to explain it really, really simply, and uh, I'm going to do that right now. All right. So port forwarding is uh, is when you forward a network port. All right. So let's say you forward a port on your network um, to um, f from your network. You 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 basically forward the network port from your network to another. All right. So this basically allows you. To, it allows you to, it gives you the ability to connect uh, from from an external user uh, or from an external IP give, give the functionality of another user with an external IP to to reach the port that you have given which is why they call it port forwarding to connect to a private IP address all right so that means inside a local area network so put simply uh, you're simply forwarding a port that is on your local network and then once you've performed the port forwarding it allows an external ip to connect to your private ip through that port that you forwarded All right so it's really very simple and i can make a video about this uh, so that you understand it in depth because that was a very very simple explanation but hopefully uh you got uh you got an answer in what i've just given you all right so that's a very very good question and uh, you know what i'll make a video on that because i think it is very, something very very important uh, that is related to networking and is uh, also important to understand how that works all right so the next question is asked by mike and the question is let me just open it up it's regarding metasploitable 3 all right so uh, can you make a video on metasploitable 3 on linux and the difference between 2 and 3 
yes, I am working on that mic. Uh, I actually uh, created my own version of the Metasploitable 3 using Windows Server 2012 because the previous version, the uh, Windows Server 2008, had a lot of bugs, especially when building it. And that's probably why you guys are asking me to make a video on how to install it. And the truth is, it's a really, really tricky thing installing it uh, Metasploitable 3 because you have to install a lot of dependencies and the software versions have to be the exact ones used in the build. But overall, I'll be making a video, a complete video series where I'll be showing you how to install it and how to get it running on your computer. So I'll give you my version, which I think is much better and has a lot of fixes and is running the latest version of Windows Server 2012 with the latest updates and the vulnerability is already there. We have WordPress, all of that great stuff. So yes, I will be making a video on 3. And to answer your question, uh, yes, I will be uh, explaining the difference between 2 and 3. Well, one of the differences I can explain right now is one is running Linux. Metasploitable 2 was running Linux and Meta Metasploitable 3 is running a Windows Server. So hopefully I answered your question there, but don't worry, I'll be making a video on that. All right, now let's look at our last question. I only got three questions this week. So the last question is to do with Mr. Robot. Fantastic. All right, let's see what uh, Mesh says. All right, so Mesh says, hi, just wondering if you watch the live TV show, if you watch the TV show, Mr. Robot, and if so, what are your thoughts on it? Well, Mesh, yes, I do. I have watched the first and second season. I haven't caught up with the third season yet. I've just had a lot uh, to do, really. But I, I will catch up with it, uh, hopefully, in the next few days. Uh, hopefully, there's not a lot of the season released. I can catch up with the first few episodes and get a clear picture of what's happening happening to Elliot. All right, so your question is, what are my thoughts on it? Well, I'm, I'm guessing you're asking this uh, in terms of its, uh, its authenticity and rea realism uh, when it comes to hacking. And I'm just going to be honest. Uh, Mr. Robot is fantastic. Uh, the first time I watched it, I obviously was a bit judgmental because Hollywood tends to make hacking look uh, somewhat uh, like a superpower and something that really, really uh, is very, very simple. But in truth, uh, Mr. Robot has made it, uh, it is completely accurate. All the tools that they use, the methodology, the terms, the definitions that they give are just up to, up to scratch. The only thing that they do exaggerate and it's obviously for dramatic and because it, it is a, uh, you know, it is a TV show and they have to maintain some, uh, a, a bit of drama, uh, dramatic effect is that they, the, the hacking process is sped up and it is just exaggerated in that way in the sense that they just make everything look a bit ac accelerated. Whereas, you know, performing a network scan might not happen in five seconds. Uh, you, you get the idea. And um, for those of you experienced, you, you, you basically enjoy it because you, you, you can see that the techniques are real and the, uh, the steps that Elliot takes when performing a hack are all accurate and they do represent real life techniques. All right, so yes, my thoughts on it are it is fantastic and uh, it's probably one of the best uh, directed, produced and acted on TV shows related to cybersecurity and hacking that I've watched. And I think uh, those of you who have watched it can agree. So yeah, those are all the questions uh, that have been asked this week and that wraps up Q&A uh, 2. This is the second, uh, seri uh, the second video in the Q&A series. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching guys if you liked this video found value in it please leave a like down below if you have any questions or suggestions please please leave them in the comment section down below or you can hit me up on my social networks you can hit me up on kick you can also ask your questions on my website so there's a lot of ways you can get in touch with me and yeah thank you so much for the support i really appreciate it and